2003, 601 million views. Easy. 2003, 601 million views. I'm thinking this is like a, a hey, yeah. This is like a, a yeah by Usher. This is something in that vein. Dana, 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 I, 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 Dana, Dana, that's not hey, yeah. Or is it like, is it Seven Nation Army? Wow, 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 I feel like it's a little slow for a little fast for Seven Nation Army. Never mind. Seven. Nation Army. You know what? That's very fortuitous. That was on our um, 60 minute Christine Der Cole Power Zone Endurance ride today. And what I'm not trying the, in the end of, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much, but it was billed as a 90s ride and they put Seven Nation Army on it, which is pissing me off because this song did not come out in the 1990s. At the end of the day, I wasn't unhappy to hear the song. It's a perfectly cromulent song but at the same time i was like why bill it as a 90s ride why are there so many parodies for seven nation army first thing someone said is i'm gonna suck him off a seven nation army couldn't hold me back then someone said they say my dick is small every single scrotum got a story to tell taking all coomers so true Sucking off chili dudes inside the morgue's deep freeze. Jack's feeling a little cold. He's got his jacket under his knees. Let him rock. Let him roll. Let the chili dudes come and fill my hole. As fast as you can and make you women and men thick it down. <laughs> and it's... I, I don't really like John Cougar Mellencamp. In fact, I might even take it a step further and say I dislike uh, John Cougar Mellencamp's music. I don't know as a human being, and frankly, I don't care because the only reason I know about him is because of his music. It's crazy that he's not Canadian because his music is horrible. By the way, in case you're new here, I'm Canadian. I'm, I'm mad at Canadian music because we did a, a, another Power Zone ride where the theme of the ride was that they were like, you know, this, these songs are from the US. These songs are from the UK. These songs are from Canada. These songs are from Germany. And then they were like, you know, we're going to Canada. And the first song was um, Kids Wanna Rock by Brian Adams. I hate Brian Adams. All of the songs that Brian Adams, I think, has ever made. And that's one of them. And then number two was something by Sean Mendez and I was like brother you skipped the you skipped every good artist we got I'm not saying there's a a hundred thousand but there's like you know at least a few dozen you could have gone with what about Rush where's the Rush if you're going to play some pop where's like the Carly Rae Jepsen where's the soul decision where's the kind of faded but I'm feeling all right think about making my move tonight but then he said we're headed to the UK and he played Ed Sheeran featuring Camilla Cabello and Cardi B, my, my three favorite British musicians. Gangnam Style into Seven Nation Army. Bandle needs to step it up a bit. Do not let the tradle fuckers get their hands on Bandle. It's nice that the songs are like mainstream enough that everybody except Apollo at least knows what they could be. I do not want to play this shit. Listen, it would be fun for me, but if they start playing like House of Jealous Lovers by The Rapture or something like that, you know the whole website is cooked. People are going to be, really? This is like the Kira body of Bandle. My blank really needs a $1.50 Costco hot dog and drink right now. I hear you. Can I say something without people being upset? The combo is crazy. The, the price, you, there is nothing, there's no bargain that's even close to it in the world today, at least in North America. They need to make the food court a little bit more reasonable. Is it possible that they could just give you a tray when they give you the food? I recognize it's already a loss leader. They're losing money on every single combo. But they, they could give you a tray that you could then return and they could wash. So you're not freehanding 
two fountain drinks and two hot dogs while also trying to put the condiments on them all and then the lids and stuff like that. You need the, just a tray, man. Come on. They don't even have bags? You want a tray? They could just wash the tray and then use it again. Sit down with the drinks first, then go for the condiments? Little bro, what Costco are you going to that there's free seats at the food court? Everyone here is uh, just... I mean, the food court's totally full, and it's like in gridlock because it's just full of everybody's abandoned carts, and then there's like nine families standing around the trash can. It's like the, the modern-day market square. The Poco one is usually fine for seats. Listen, rare Port Coquitlam victory, okay? Rare Port Coquitlam dub. I recognize I've been directing a lot of ire at New Westminster lately. Poco should be so lucky. All right, we're gonna, we, we gotta get to platinum level as the Reaper. Do you prefer the self-checkout at the Costco? Absolutely not. They, the cashiers are cracked, bro. They're cracked. They are the fastest scanners of all time. It's the only store on earth where the scanners are waiting for the customers ver instead of vice versa. Like, I'm always like, I've got to get my card out like three carts in advance. Otherwise, they hold out the scanner and if you have to fiddle around for your card, you're like, I'm the piece of crap. Hey, Anel, due to your toe walking, you think you'd be better than the average guy at walking in high heels? Yeah. I probably like, it, I'm, I'm not even joking. I'm saying this, I'm, it's a back of the napkin calculation. I bet I'm two orders of magnitude better than the average man at walking in heels. Cause I kind of walk in heels all the time. Yes, two, I, two orders of magnitude. I'm, it, again, it's been a while since I had to use orders of magnitude in a statistical sense. Doesn't that mean I'm in the, in the one percentile? Yes. I 100% I believe I'm in the first percentile. It means you're 100 times better? Yeah, the, <laughs> that's the 1th percentile, right? You know, like how the people who are in the first percentile of IQ have like a 15,000 IQ. <laughs> Bro, did you get your executive member refund yet? Oh! I forgot, it's it's already like we're almost in the new year. Do all of you truly spend more than $3,000 a year at, at Costco? DL Guiga, you're about to enter the fucking child force, okay? So get ready. Yes, absolutely. For, for two adults and a toddler, you can spend enough to make the executive refund pay for the membership itself. That's not even, I mean, if you go once every two weeks, you're going to Costco 26 times a year, that's like 140 bucks a trip. I don't need to tell you, you're the actuary. You figure it out. 140 bucks a trip at Costco is like buying seven items. I'm not an actuary, don't insult me. What the, don't actually, I, listen, we do have some actuaries in the community. I do wanna say, I want their take on my take, which is that being an actuary might be like a hard job to qualify for, but once you're in, you're in, right? Because you're like the Bene Gesserit. You're dealing with such astronomically large timescales that no one can ever actually like double check your data. Like if you're 5% wrong on how much runway you have for an insurance company, your ass is already retired with pension by the time that shit comes to pass, right? You could just be like, oh, I didn't see fucking, who would have thought that it turns out that LaCroix gives people like gastrointestinal reflux disease. We couldn't have seen that problem coming upstream. So true, the Bene Gesserit were quiet quitting. They didn't even do anything. They just made Timothy Chalamet put his hand in the box. The box did all the work. They have to take like a million exams. Yeah, you know, but I mean, once they enter the real world, once they leave the fantasy land of, you know, like a, a Boston, Massachusetts campus, once they have to start working for a living, like they're pretty much in, right? They're set. Do you know the Greek alphabet in order? I stopped when I learned about Delta, D.L. Guiga. You should know that's the only one that matters. Uh, it would have been so much better if I said I stopped when I learned about Alpha. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I stopped when I learned about Sugma. So true. Redo the bit. <clears throat> I like this. We get multiple cracks at the damn joke here. Give me a second. We start again. We go again. 
Ah! Ah! Oh, no! 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 What have I done, man? We could do it. No, no, no. It's okay. It's just a bit broken. Oh. <laughs> this little maneuver is going to cost us 51 years. So true. Okay. I understand. Don't talk to me about the pen pineapple apple pen. Um we buy pineapple here. Talk to me about the pen pineapple apple pen, okay? I just want you to know that I was against pen pineapple apple pen when everybody's aunt was sharing it on Twitter as if it was the funniest thing ever, okay? You were probably like eight when it came out. So I know it's easy to look back in time, basically, and say, yeah, whatever, millennial, you're the generation that let pen pineapple apple pen get popular. I want you to know I was against it at the time, all right? I'm not trying to erase history. I was in middle school and I thought it was annoying. Well, kids in middle school are like the experts on what's annoying, so they should have taken your word for it. So true. God is ass. <laughs> I don't know. If you're in middle school and you're watching this, you're going to hate this bit. You're going you're gonna to be very upset about this bit. At my current age, there is n very little that's funnier to me than like 11 or 12 year old kids swearing. Because you can tell they're just trying it on for size. Like it's not natural when it leaves their mouth. It's always like they say the F word to get a reaction. I was in the dollar store with my toddler on the weekend and there were like three 12 year old kids in the dollar store toy section, which is how you know that they're still like their brains aren't fully developed. And the, I don't even know what the kid was doing. He was 12 years old. He said like, ow, that hurt like shit. And all of his friends went, oh, like there's a little kid around. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. And then they went, Dude, go, go, go. we're so bad. I was like, you don't even know that if this were the caveman days, there'd be nothing funny right now. I could pick you up and throw you into a bog. No chieftain would, could convict me. It is society that is protecting you. It's not yourselves. You're not adults yet. We have laws and checks and balances designed to give you that degree of protection, okay? So you should show, show, show some respect, show some appreci appreciation. Also, I listen to way more fucked up music in the car with my child. My kid's not gonna freak out when they hear the S word. First off, she doesn't even know what it is. She's like 3.12 years old. Funniest thing I ever heard was a child say, hang on, what the dick? <laughs> Cause it's like, it happens now and then. Sometimes we'll be at like the playground, right? In, in the summertime when the weather was more hospitable, there'll be like three middle school kids hanging out and they're trying to act hard. Like they're mean mugging people at, on like the swing set. And then they'll say some shit that's like, you know, my mom's such a bitch. And then like a minute later, they're like, did you see the Roblox video I linked you last night? And you're like, it's this weird, awkward period where you're trying to figure out like what it means to be an adult. I promise you it's not just swearing, but you know, we've all got to go through it. Hey, Anel, what's your take on letting your child have a smartphone? I mean, I have a toddler, so I don't have to worry about it for a bit, but your kid has to have a smartphone or a phone at the very least. Like it's, you, you can't fight the tide of the change of society, but you could at least give your kid, like when they go to school, you can give them a phone that has like connectivity to the cellular network, but no access to data whatsoever for a bit at least. And then when they're like, I don't know, when they're like in high school, maybe when they're in middle school, give them a little bit of data. Look at what happened to us with unfiltered internet access. What the fuck you mean us, bro? I'm doing all right. I'm chilling. <laughs> you know what is crazy to me is people are like, I would never let my kid have a smartphone. That's crazy. 
I didn't have a smartphone until I was 22. My kid would never have a smartphone. But then when a boomer says like kids are on their cell phones too much, they're like, yeah, whatever, grandpa. Why don't you go exacerbate another Cuban Missile Crisis? Like you have logical incongruencies here that you have to examine in yourselves to find your true values. And now the type of guy to enjoy orange juice without the pulp. To be quite frank with you, sir, I don't really enjoy orange juice at all. It's not my tempo. Now, will I eat it in some circumstances? Yes, I'll eat it in some circumstances, but I think orange juice, the insane popularity of orange juice is a psyop uh, that only resulted after 60 years of heavy advertising spending by the Tropicana company. There's lots of wonderful juices out there. You don't have to have orange juice at, uh, at breakfast time. You could have apple, you could have mango, you could mix it up, you could have some pineapple juice, you could have some grapefruit juice. Vitamin C, good for your immune system. Try eating a fruit or a vegetable. If you ever look at the nutritional information of like, a, of like an apple, one apple has like 900% of your daily recommended allotment of vitamin C. Right? You know why they call it vitamin C? Because it's freaking copious in the world. I can't believe people used to die of scurvy. It is funny, might not be the word I would use necessarily, but it is hilarious. You're like, you really died of scurvy? Like, it's the most, at least in the modern diet, I would almost guarantee how many people we got in chat right now it's backpack battles i'm gonna say 6200 i'm gonna suggest 5994 of you get enough vitamin c daily ambiently through your diet or through some kind of supplementation i'm telling you the one glass of tropicana is not is not necessary what about the others they need to consume some fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Not even like a lot, just some would be fine. Uh, I think we lose. I'm just looking at your back. Your backpack looks like a fucking space chem solution. I'm freaked out. You drank 17 potions as soon as the battle started. No thank you, drunken master. Wait, but we're doing so much true damage, Sasha, Sasha! <laughs> Hey, NL, happy to catch you live. Usually I can't. You think you can hide from me, Grubhub user? You were the person, that, what do you mean you usually can't? I saw you yesterday asking what you should get on your Grubhub hamburger. You kicked off a whole bunch of delivery discourse. And then you, had, you said, okay, I'll go drive and pick it up for myself. And then we said, mm, I'm, I'm calling your bluff on that one. You said, what should I get on it? I said, I can't be held responsible for all the ingredients you're gonna get on your hamburger. Oh, I remember. I remember. <laughs> Didn't you hear cardiovascular exercise in excess of 60 minutes daily is, what's the word? <laughs> Neurogenerative? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burgers during sex go crazy? <laughs> okay, George Costanza. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, man, George was out of the pocket for that one. Pastrami sandwich in between the sheets? Come on. Can't focus on the sandwich and the lovemaking at the same time. A George Divided cannot stand! My hover shoes! They don't hover! They're just shoes! Carrot early is kind of crazy. I don't know how much it's going to matter though. I don't like when they go. <laughs> It's not because it makes me feel a certain sort of way, by the way. I just don't like it. It doesn't mean I'm horny. It's like I think that they want me to be horny based on the sound. To which I say no. Are you horny? You can't just ask that question. Do you know there's a... I know this because of the Peloton. Do you know there's a song that was popular in England called Horny? Where the chorus just goes, I'm horny, 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 horny. I'm horny, so horny, horny, horny tonight. It gives me laughing every time I do that ride because the instructor's like, man, 
Imagine having the balls to release a song like this in the 90s. What a tune. You know? like, <laughs> Bro, people were horned up in the 90s. There was a show called Sex in the City. Ben Aldis Energy plus 2J. It isn't Ben Aldis though. It was Hannah Frankson. But every time I do a Ben Aldis ride, I pop into the Peloton sub-community on the Discord and type something like, Ben Aldis pulling up to the drive-thru. If I was you, I'd be turning that speaker up right now. What an absolute belter. Don't let him find out what the killers do to a British crowd. I, I should be anti-killers. I mean, I'm anti-murder, like murder, but like the band I'm talking about here. But I'm, I'm killers. I would say I'm mildly pro-killers. I was going to say agnostic, but I think that's dishonest. I think I'm mildly pro-killers. Not a ton, but a little bit. Like, they were on the Emma Lovewell ride today. I like when Brendan Flowers says, And someone is playing a game in the house that I grew up in. You know, something about that line, it just pogs me up. Someone will drive her down, down the same streets that I did. And I'm like, I don't know what the hell. Is he talking about like he used to be an Uber driver or something? They did not have a song about eating burgers during intercourse. You have them confused with Gigi Allen. Brandon Flowers, the least horny Mormon. Is Brandon Flowers a Mormon? I mean, it's uh, none of my business either way. He is. It's crazy that he wrote some of those songs Brother can't even drink a soda. Or no, way, he can't even drink a coffee. They, they drink soda all the time, right? <laughs> or is it like some sodas? Like they can't drink root beer or something, but they can drink like Pepsi. They can't drink any sodas with caffeine in them. Okay. He did say it was coming out of his cage. Now she's drinking a Sprite. Now she's drinking a tab. Just let me go. Do, 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 do. do not give Brendan Flowers a Panera Charge Lemonade at 3.02 a.m. Dude's gonna be hyper as hell. I answered a call from Mr. Brightside at 3 a.m. and nearly died. Open parentheses, nuclear soda gone wrong. I'll be like, that could never work on YouTube. Then I load up YouTube, it's like number one trending for top videos in the last 30 days. Backpack looks fucking horrible, but whatever. It looks normal for a card build. It looks like a man talking to a sock puppet. Do you see that? Doesn't it look like a man with his arm fully extended going like this? I see it. <laughs> Drink in my tab just to know your name. 17 tabs and I've had it with this game. It's Utah versus Brigham Young University. Utah's up by 60 points at the half. Plus two, NL knows ball. Many people are saying this. <laughs> Someone is drinking a Sprite in the house that I grew up in. I don't know, man. It's just... Again, I am I think I'm pro-killers. It's just funny, man. It just gets me every time. <laughs> you get a bonus for making a phallic-looking backpack? Brother, you gotta see a urologist or the best therapist in your city. Because this shit does not look phallic to me unless you're a damn xenomorph. Your shit is fucked up. I don't know if it's your penis or your brain. Technically, if we're being analytical, it could be both. Okay? But this is not... What is going on with this? <laughs> this is... There's no phallic nature here at all. It looks like a damn scorpion or something like that. You may or may not need a Brazilian brain lift. All I'm saying is if your shit looks like this, if it's got this kind of a bend in it, you gotta switch hands for a bit, okay? This is too much. What kind of music videos you been watching? Although stunning is not that bad. Uh, well, whatever. Card me. Me when I'm in an Alaskan liquor store. Why Alaskan? 
I think you can tell a lot about what is this fucking Factorio nightmare, bro. Um, you can tell a lot about how hard it is to live in a state based on when you... Uh, whether or not you get ID'd buying alcohol there. Like in Vancouver, I never get ID'd buying alcohol. I'm 34 years old. I've been to Alaska two times, and both times I got carded, which I think tells you that 21-year-olds in Alaska, they're like a Creed album. They're looking a little bit weathered. Let's put it that way. So you're, you're outside, you're in the cold air. Alaskan teens be like, what's the move tonight? Nothing, bro, you live in Alaska? Listen, <laughs> it's a very naturally beautiful state, okay? You didn't have to cook them like that. It's not like, I mean, they don't have internet access, so it's not like they're here to defend themselves. Plus two, plus two, oh, minus two, err, err. Try that in a small town, AKA the biggest city in Alaska. See what happens, err. I still think it's one of the funniest things about Alaska is that the capital city has no roads that connect it to the rest of the state. So the only way to get there is by plane or by boat, which is, or I guess you could, the walk like Hannibal Barca over the Alps or something like that, but that shit is actually like funny. Why is the capital city in an inaccessible exclave? It doesn't make any sense. Thought it would be funny. Chibli, I'm not, I'm not, I know Chibli wakes up early, but I'm not used to seeing Chibli early. It's so weird that like New Zealand and Vancouver are like a 18 hour flight away from one another, but it's actually like, it's 10.40 a.m. my time, and it's like 7 a.m. your time. It's a three-hour time difference right now. Gets a little fucky over the Pacific, right? Because Hawaii is like three hours different, too. But then Hawaii, Hawaii is like the same time as New Zealand, but one day earlier. One day later. No, Hawaii is one day earlier. Yes, that makes sense. That's crazy. It's a 23 hour time difference. They should just move a day ahead. Because how is Hawaii closer in time to New Zealand than Vancouver when Hawaii and New Zealand are way closer than Vancouver and New Zealand? That doesn't even make any sense. New Zealand is the most forward time zone. My ass living in... Tuvalu, Micronesia, Wallace, and Fatuna. What do you say fuck me for? We export $1.7 million of frozen shellfish parts every year. What do you say fuck me for? Where would you put the international date line then? I just think I would say fuck it. We ball. We don't need one. We got yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Who needs to, you know, cook it? overcook it with a bunch of numbers and stuff. <laughs> Unfathomably based. Human beings are not meant to have calendars, bro, is what I'm trying to say. Why is all the stuff we invent to make life easier making it harder? You invent the calendar so you become the master of time, but then the calendar becomes the master of you. We built our own damn prison like Scott Stapp. I think I'm cooked, by the way. I'll just be honest with you. I don't really know what I'm doing on this run. I gotcha. <laughs> oh! I knew it. <laughs> this is what Isaac died for, huh? You're like the last dude in British Columbia who likes Swiss Chalet. Go into like a, a poke place in the old Swiss Chalet building. <laughs> I mean, this is okay, but I could really go for like a quarter chicken dinner cooked in the fucking dishwasher right now with one piece of Toblerone afterwards. The hell are you talking about, man? Swiss Chalet owns. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus you're from Aurelia. Next, anybody else? Anybody else want some? At least you didn't say Timmins. Bro, don't flatter yourself. Shania's from Timmins, okay? The only thing I know about Aurelia is if you ever see it on the 401, turn back because you've driven too far. We hate Isaac now? We don't hate Isaac. 
they're mostly just making a joke. Ever since they announced the co-op online is coming to the game, all my Isaac merch in my closet whispering to me like the damn Green Goblin mask. Mom's heart! First you attack mom's heart, Norman! Bro's just showing off his walk-in closet. It's full of Japanese whiskey and blouses. You're so dead? I don't think so, Fabu. I don't think so. It appears you are the one who has ceased metabolic processes. We're one blueberry away from a perfect backpack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I do have 55 poison on me. Maybe I should be the one saying, uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> oh, well. Still survived with one heart left. Oh! Plat me! Holy, dude. What, what comes after plat? Freaking diamond level? Hang on. I, this is too perfect to be fake. Just found out I had simultaneous Campylobacter and appendicitis. Thought it was just appendicitis, but the lab results just came back. Campylobacter's got shooters too. Hopu Games, Campylobacter, Dan Giesling. They got shooters everywhere. You're probably going to be fine. I mean, I think for appendicitis, it's like a routine surgery. Campylobacter, it's just, uh, just an antibiotic. Hopefully you live in like a place with lax antibiotic restrictions like Mexico where you can just buy this shit at the grocery store and you don't have to go through a fucking means test to make sure that bro you did see it can I I it still have trauma associated with this this is illuminated for me what trauma is because it has changed I have a, a visceral defensive reaction to it every time it gets brought up all I needed was the antibiotics they made me get a cat scan or a CT scan 10 different Runs of blood work, colonoscopy, stool samples, urine samples, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then they said, "Okay, fine. Here's ten antibiotic pills. Here's the lid. Make sure you take the whole course of antibiotics. We know you have a bachelor's degree in biology because you spent, uh, you know, eight hours in the waiting room talking to us, begging for your medicine. Um, but we don't want to accidentally create like a super bug here." Then they gave me the the damn antibiotics. I took them, and then the lab results came back. My doctor called me and said, "Hey, just so you know, we're surprised the antibiotics work because it turns out that strain of bacteria was resistant to the antibiotics we gave you. You you already." created this super bug motherfucker give me the medicine i didn't play any this is the first time i've ever taken ciprofloxacin in my damn life and you're like okay but don't abuse it i haven't even i didn't even know how to spell that shit in 2021 okay made me jump through a thousand hoops when i was dying to get medicine they used to just you know give away if you went to the doctor's office then they gave it to me and they're like by the way it was a placebo accidentally it makes me sick. <laughs> Literally. How have your knees been since the Cipro? They've been good, but I didn't ride the bike when I was on the antibiotics. Or like I rode lighter, I can't remember. But I remember reading, it was like, don't exercise on Ciprofloxacin because your tendons might just snap. And I was like, okay. I got tendonitis from Cipro. Some people have had spontaneous Achilles tendon ruptures after taking it. <laughs> Uh, listen, it's just funny that like when they finally gave me an antibiotic, they gave me the one that can snap your Achilles tendon like rubber bands. And then they gave me a phone call that was like, by the way, the medicine doesn't work anyway. I guess you're just built different. Really good experience with not just I, I don't want to say like the Canadian medical system, but it really was like two urgent care facilities, one different ER twice my family doctor and the internist that I got referred to. But anyway, it's that's water under the bridge. No big deal. I can't wait till I'm old, man. I'm gonna be at the hospital all the time. You better get your treatment right now because I'm not gonna leave. I'm gonna have an executive membership to VGH. I might just stop in there when I'm bored. I'll be like, oh, my vision's a little blurry. They'll be like, holy fuck. Kick out that 24 year old with a gunshot wound. 
then I'll be like, oh, I forgot I didn't wear my glasses. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Anyway, Goober was a bad idea. Mods, rub your socks on the carpet and touch the tip of that guy's nose real quick. Your ass needs to go in like that. I understand this is not the best blueberry setup, but it's a good setup for getting Goober to activate a lot, which should give us a lot of heals. So just chill yourself, okay? I said chill yourself, just to be clear. <laughs> You should chill yourself. Oh, man. <laughs> By the way, I think I made the worst tweet of all time. The dude from the Banshees of Inisharan, whose Riz was so bad he blanked himself. There's a clip of him kind of like giving bedroom eyes to a guy at a premiere of a movie. And I said, you know, they almost kissed. I said, Riz so good he kissed himself. And it got like like 86 likes. It's actually like less likes than a sponsored tweet gets. <laughs> so, wake up, honey. New tactics roguelite game just dropped. Check it out here. Hashtag ad. Like, I gotta delete that shit. It's tanking my, my metrics, bro. It made no sense. It's the dude whose Riz was so bad he blanked himself, but this... Now change the blank to... Uh, Kiss. That tweet sucked ass. All right. I think you're right. It just bums me out. He didn't kiss himself though. Yeah, but the in the, <laughs> the reference is making is to something where he blanked himself. Crazy that IRL bananas cancel out berries and smoothies. What do you mean by that? Speak on that for a bit. What do you mean they cancel out? Crazy that bananas and berries cancel out in smoothies. They mute the flavor. Flavor-wise, it's true. I just don't understand what you're talking about. I'm not even. I'm not saying it's true or false. I don't understand the premise of the question, because the flavor gets drowned out by the bananas. Banana plus anything equals banana. That's not true. Banana plus chocolate elevates both, and banana plus. Medicine elevates both, and banana plus peanut butter elevates both. But maybe with fruits, banana does tend to... It, it takes over the elements of a fruit salad, for sure. It's like Chris Cornell on Hunger Strike. I mean, I'm sure like Eddie Vedder probably showed up like vocally rested and ready to work, but how are you supposed to compete when Chris Cornell goes, GOING HUNGRY! You know, he, I can't hit it. Nobody can, that's why he's the GOAT. Banana medicine? What are you talking about? Bro, banana medicine. You never get ear infections as a kid? What's it like having normal eustachian tubes? It was grape? Not up here. We got the good stuff. I'm pissed now? <laughs> good. Hold that anger. Next time they try to give you some grape flavor to moxicillin, you say, fuck that. You throw that shit in their face. Give me the goods. Give me the Canadian banana, please. They'll kick you out of the hospital, but don't let that stop them. Hey, you know what? I just throwing this out here. I think society is cooked. If you maybe it's just up here. If you notice that every single establishment you go into now has a sign that says, uh, "Our employees are not here to be verbally abused. If you verbally or physically abuse our employees, then you'll be asked to leave the store." This shit is in like doctors' offices, dentists' offices. But it's also in a fucking, like, AMWs and stuff like that. What happened, man? It's good that that sign is up. Come on. The reason I'm saying it's bad is because they had to put the sign up. So now, instead of being like, be nice, you know, the, the workers say that. Previously, they were like, there's no, corp there's no corporate policy that says I can't call you a piece of shit at the Tim Hortons. Now they can be like, sir... Look at the sign, and then the people, oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't realize. I'll, I'll take this shit down the street to the JJ Bean or something like that. Like, it's just, it feels like the fabric of community is like, it's, it's unraveling. If you need to put up a damn sign at the subway that says, please don't call our employees pieces of shit. <laughs> I've been called an asshole as a GameStop manager. 
in their defense, were you really trying to do them dirty with the $3 warranty on the game? I know that you're saying, like, we don't have any choice. Like, it's the people that are on top of us that push the problems, like, downstream to us. But you're the person saying the words, and I'm the person saying no, okay? So, that's all I'm saying. I have sympathy for it, which is why, instead of saying no, I said, no, nah, I think I'm good today. That's the, the yin and the yang of the, of the customer and the customer service interaction. I was an asshole to them, but it was when Wii's were selling out. Say no more. I still remember... I got the luckiest Nintendo Wii purchasing experience of all time. It was Christmas break, like a month after the Wii came out. They were basically sold out everywhere. Um, one day, my mom was like, Hey, do you want to come to Future Shop with me? It's basically like Canadian Best Buy. Easiest win of my life. Uh, I walked into the Future Shop and there was a dude holding a Nintendo, like an employee holding a Nintendo Wii over his head that said, hey, it's the last Nintendo Wii. Does anyone want it? And I literally had just walked in the door. I said, sure, I'll take it. And then they gave it to me and then I purchased it. It was a dream come true. You, you could not get luckier than that. Future Shop was a damn goat. Not me buying a $50 gold-plated USB cable for a printer as a 12 year old because the future shop employee paid on commission told me that it's like you don't want to listen you could use this usb cable for life you don't want to buy one of those cheap usb cables you need the gold plated one son of a i had to buy a rose gold hdmi cable during covid because target didn't have any others that is demoralizing your ass got the fake apple hdmi cord Oh man! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, okay, you got a good, you got a good squad. You got carrot, Goobert. I can't be mad at you. Just realized Subway gave me wheat bread instead of Italian herb and cheese. You're right. This place is cooked. I mean, listen, it's already bad. Like the sandwich is not good to begin with. I say that as someone who likes the way it tastes, but I have not gotten it in a long time. But there are some unforgivable. Subway sins and giving you wheat bread instead of Italian herbs and cheese is crazy. They should genuinely only offer one kind of bread, maybe two kinds. There should be Italian herbs and cheese and gluten free because we respect people with dietary restrictions. They're all the same except Italian herbs and cheese. Italian, wheat, Honey and oats, it's, a, it's just what kind of dusting you want on it. I want the herbs and the cheese, man. They already have the gluten-free, it's called no bread. I forgot that they're selling bowls now, which is hilarious. I just, I've never gone to Subway and been like, you know what I really like about this place? The quality of the ingredients. <laughs> yeah, can I get like a, like a salad with some deli ham on top of it? Yeah, and a little extra barbecue sauce on the spinach, please. It's like getting a salad at the pizza place. See, now you're gonna get me in trouble because sometimes when we order from Panago in, in British Columbia, I am the salad at the pizza place guy. It's because I'm also gonna eat some pizza after I finish the salad. <laughs> so I have like the whole salad and the salad is pretty good. Jalapenos. Oaxaca cheese. Congealed ass avocado cilantro dressing, but it's still pretty good. And then after I finish the salad, maybe a couple slices of Hawaiian pizza just to round it out. What cheese? Oaxaca. It's pronounced the same way it's spelled. O-A-X-A-C-A. -A -A, Oaxaca. My, my man knows about Oaxaca cheese. I told you I'm cool. People like largely don't believe it. What's it similar to? I don't know, like feta? <laughs> kind of. Okay. Okay. Cotilla. Yeah, but if they didn't know Oaxaca, are they going to know Cotilla? People from Oaxaca be like, not at all. Brother, listen. Can you just give me some props for knowing how to spell the province you live in? Like, that's pretty impressive. Half the people that live in British Columbia spell Colombia wrong. You should be slapped by your local pizzeria employee. 14 year old kids whenever someone orders a pizza that's not just pepperoni 
This is an inauthentic pizza. That's not how they do it in Italy. In Italy, they get a pepperoni pizza. They dip it in ranch. Go back to Skibbity, comma, Ohio. Why are you even looking at the menu in the pizza place? You're walking in there going, uh... They already popped the pepperoni into the oven as soon as they saw your ass in the parking lot, okay? You're really gonna, oh, I'm gonna mix it up today. I'm gonna get the Mediterranean. No, you're not. You're getting the pepperoni with extra cheese. Come on. <laughs> Spend 20 minutes looking at the menu. I know you're gonna get the, the classic burger. It's ridiculous. Why is your, your ass is in the anti-pasty section? I don't think so. I know what you're having. Don't look at the drink menu. I know you're getting water and a classic burger. What are we doing here? Were you a banana or a stroop waffle Andy this morning? I'm always I'm a banana Andy for life now. It clears the stroop waffle in almost every capacity, especially economically. Just make sure you don't split them up at the store. You would not catch me breaking up a bunch of bananas at the store. Simply not gonna happen. It's disrespectful to the grocery store. It's disrespectful to the other patrons. He really never buys half a bunch. Brother, I never need half a bunch of bananas. I scale my banana eating to the number of bananas in the bunch. It's not like you get home and you're like, oh, fuck, there's 28 bananas in this bunch. The shit is always like six. <laughs> you can... <laughs> and they, they have like a, a best before date on them. It's the color of the banana. You could, you could do some short-term planning so your bananas, you know, don't go bad. Oh, fuck. Listen, if you got an old bag of spinach in your fridge that turned into liquid, I understand you, okay? That happens. You have good intentions at the grocery store. I'm going to make a salad. You shove that shit in the crisper, you never see it again. Your Grubhub bill is like 300 bucks this week. It happens to the best of us. But with bananas, you would not catch me letting a banana goes bad. If you're like, oh, these bananas, I've got four bananas left and they're going to go bad tomorrow. Eat two bananas in the morning and then two bananas before bed. Who cares? Doesn't even matter. Bananas are ripe for like 11 minutes and then go bad. What are you, you're thinking of avocados, motherfucker. What are you talking about? Bananas, they're, they're at peak ripeness for like six days. <laughs> are you, you're thinking of the wrong fruit, bro. Won't you get constipated? You have to see a gastroenterologist. If eating four servings of fruit fucks up your poop, you need to talk. You, I'm not even, I'm pulling the veil back. You need to speak to a doctor. That's not normal. They tell you to eat five to 10 servings of vegetables per day at a minimum. At a minimum, Jerry. Like I'm, I'm asking sincerely, if eating four bananas in one day once would make you constipated, what is your diet? Not judgmentally, but like, what are you eating that isn't fucking up your shit? Because like, that's all fruits and vegetables off the damn table. You can't eat cheese. That's, harm that's harmful for your gut. Coke Zero. I'll accept that. How would it make you constipated? I know pe people don't understand fruit. I guess people are different is the thing. People are always like, they'll type the same thing. They're like four servings of fruit. One person's like, that would give me diarrhea. The other person's like, I wouldn't shit for two weeks. Like, I don't know. You guys got to, you got to take that up with the Lord above. Because that, I've never had that problem. And all I'm saying is you better not be drinking eight double IPAs on a Saturday and then be like, I can't eat two bananas. My colon will never be the same. Okay. And now I'm just laughing. Chib, are you seeing? You don't have to side with me. People are like, if the bananas go bad, just make banana bread. You're not wrong, but these Andes with no long-term planning, like their ass is not going to be like, oh, I'll just let the bananas go bad and then I'll make banana bread. Come on. They can't even eat the bananas. And now you're like, put them in the freezer, mash them into a dough with like seven other ingredients they don't have, and then bake that shit in a cake pan that they don't have either. It's not going to happen, okay? Why not, why not just turn them into a shake? Everything you're describing is true, but it's also less convenient than eating the bananas, which they're already not doing. If they wouldn't pick it off the bunch and eat it in two seconds, their ass is not getting out the Nutribullet and putting fruit into it. <laughs> like, we gotta start lower on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, okay? I buy a whole bunch and freeze half for smoothies. My girlfriend thinks it's weird. I don't have like, um, 
There's, I don't have the moral high ground here. I do think it's weird too, though. I don't think you need to buy like a second bunch. Like if it's working for you, then don't let me get in the way. But I never like ever looked at a, a banana bunch as being subdividable, except to take one banana off at a time to eat. Like for me, in my head, a bunch of bananas is almost like a singular item. Like it's a singular plural, like a pair of pants. Exactly. You wouldn't be like, I put one leg sleeve in the freezer. <laughs> you simply wouldn't. It doesn't make sense. You wouldn't tear one leg of pants off of your pants either. I might if I got like a jellyfish thing under my under my sleeve or something like that. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. That's a tough one. I haven't given it its due consideration yet. Dang old jellyfish, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. It's just to me, I've never had a problem consuming. Like, I, the, if whatever bananas I buy, I eat. They might be like the least composted food I've ever purchased at the grocery store. You get a maximum of like six at a time. They give you due warning before they go bad. Like all you got to do is be like, Oh, those bananas are going to go bad in two days. And then you eat like, you know, a banana twice in one day as a snack for two days. And then you're, you're good. You don't have to worry about it. I don't want to eat one every day. Then fucking don't buy bananas or do and like live your life. I'm just saying. Bro, I think the buster sword's kind of working. We have the stamina ability. Got to be someone with the know-how. In the elbow grease. <laughs> and what? Start survival mode? We're going to be on time. As long as we go fast, we're going to be on time. Do you even play Final Fantasy? Uh, I played Final Fantasy VII, where you were still a twinkle in your father's eye. I was openly weeping to the story of Vincent and Lucretia when your chromosomes ain't even undergone mitosis yet. Let me guess. How many Final Fantasies have come out in your lifetime, motherfucker? Like two? Oh, but, but, but they made like three 13s. I mean main series Andes, you motherfucker. Don't be disingenuous. You know how many Final Fantasies have come out in my lifetime? All of them. They were coming out with like one every six months until I was 17 years old. Do you even like Final Fantasy? Fucking 12 year old letterbox users be like, mm, have you ever seen a David Lynch movie? No, stop asking me. Shouldn't you be in school? I've read the Wikipedia synopsis for Twin Peaks The Return and I do not understand it, okay? Could somebody explain what the hell's going on? They're going into a sunken place, there's doppelgangers, they're coming out. The nuclear bomb's being invented, there's an orb with a guy's face on it. I don't know what the hell they're talking about and yet I'm compelled. You should watch it. I would if it wasn't on Showtime and I'll, I'll, that's sincere. It's just fifth dimensional beings fucking with humanity. Oh, so like Jersey Shore? <laughs> oh, man. My ass trying to find out who killed Laura Palmer when suddenly I get an ethereal vision of Snooky. <laughs> the situation talking backwards in my damn dreams. Playing that shit on reverse in the tape deck. He's saying Jim Tan Laundry, Jim Tan Laundry. What does it mean, Jim Tan Laundry? What does it mean? Not much, you? Ah, chilling, chilling. Yeah? How's it going with the whole... Uh, I just bought a hundred and fucking thirty dollars worth of Flex Seal. Why? Because <laughs> I didn't know I needed that much. It sucks, man. I went to Lowe's twice today. Hey. Wait, what? Hello? Hi. You, yeah. What do you got to seal up so bad? The seams of the mats I put down. You have to put Flex Seal down? Well, my trainer told me to use Flex Seal. I guess I could have oh. used any tape, but I started okay. with. I bought two rolls of Flex Seal. I was like, that'll do it. Nope. Needed 10. Dude, that shit is like 
fourteen dollars a roll. And I well, yeah, it. <laughs> it's like a foot. It's like a foot wide too, right? It's like super. No, it's, it's four inches wide. Four inches. That's still pretty wide. Sorry. And uh, and five feet long. It's, there's like nothing. <laughs> Dude's dick is hanging, bro. What the hell? <laughs> Am I, uh, I'm, I'm hanging me. I didn't know he had such a big dick. Hanging hog. What are we playing? Headbangers. Headbangers. Hey, everybody but Justin, are you ready to fucking die? <laughs> yep. Yeah, allow me to flex to everyone that uh, I won two blindfolded games of this so far. That's, that's oh, madness. Bye. I'm very proud of it. They were it's almost back to back. They were two games apart. I won three. I won three. <laughs> yeah, well, not to flex, but I got uh, 2,800 on the fucking Dopal, dude. So. Oh, I didn't do Dopal today. What's Dopal? Jump dopel? on the Dopal, bro. Is that what it's called? Dopal? Uh, it's Doppel. Doppel? I got 5,696. I have to rebind that. On the Dopal? Yeah. Oh, Daily. wow. Bloons Tower oh, Defense on the 1. Dopal. I gotta say that's the year 2002. 2002? Going next. This painting, Girl with Balloon by Banksy. I'm going to say that's a 2007 John. Ryan, Movie. I did what you did, and my game is not in English. What? No, no. Wait. Wait. Oh, uh, the, movie, the movie Up, that's from 2008. No, it's from 2009. Wally's What's from up? 2008. And the month would be June. Me asking uh, Apollo what the movie Up is. What's up, dog? I... <laughs> 99 Luft Balloons by L Nina. That's got to be... I'm going to say that that's 1981. Close. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't alive when it came out. Parents <laughs> I, I, convicted. I, I wasn't either. Guy. Parents convicted in balloon boy hoax pardoned by Colorado governor. I'm going to say it's a 2013 <laughs> joint right there. I got. I Corey washed me today. I'm 39.69. I got incredibly lucky because I even got the month for uh, the movie correct. See, that shit pisses me off because I was off by one. I've been I don't think I'm ever going to play it again. I, the the dill the dills have the same effect all of them on me. I play it once. I'm like, dang, I suck shit at this. I feel like I'm a Wordle wizard. The Wordle pisses me off. I have I've never lost one. I've had a few. Oh, I, I lost one, but yeah. Uh, Wordle. Uh, my mother would clear you on Wordle. I hate to break it to you, bro. Wordle mm -hmm. is for people who listen to podcasts about The Office. The fuck. <laughs> What's wrong with either of those things? What the fuck? I mean, <laughs> if you don't see it, then I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Weren't you the guy yesterday that was just going in or the other day about how people like criticize uh, guys for like going to like, oh, that guy looks like someone who drinks at a microbrewery. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the same. That's what that's <laughs> the only brewery you can drink at. You're not going to catch me driving to St. Louis to go to the Anheuser-Busch corporate headquarters to get a Bud Light in the tasting room. <laughs> They're going to beat me to death. Hey, Justin, I, I hate you. you. By the way, did you know the Islanders Ooh, wow. are playing the Canucks tonight and uh, it's Ho Borvat's return to Vancouver? Oh, shit. Uh, oh, shit. They're going to boo his ass. I don't. I think because the team is doing very well this year, they may not be his ass. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The Islanders are gonna get fucking dusted, probably. I, I got. I got. It, I got an idea. What's up? They're gonna boob his ass, and they like it's a pleasant surgeon that puts nipples on butt cheeks. Okay. <laughs> I could see someone being into that. Honestly, <laughs> boob his ass. They're gonna boob his. Ass. They're gonna boob his ass, dude. I don't be the you're... first one to fall asleep at the sleepover. They're gonna <laughs> boob your ass. <laughs> Oh no, what are they gonna do after? I don't know, dude. Put a bra on it. <laughs> Corey falling asleep at the function, and I write the Unabomber's manifesto on his arm. Yeah. Sucking on a butt cheek like a titty. <laughs> <laughs> Poop comes out of the nipple. No. Of this Wait, what? Is. It, I, oh. yummy, I say yummy chocolate milk and I eat it, and then I get really sick. Ooh. Oh, I get really Ooh. sick. Oh, oh something's wrong the about the chocolate milk. Though. Can be Bro, no I think the I think the chocolate <laughs> milk went bad.
You would, you would do that, I reckon. Sucking on a butt cheek like a titty. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would eat a little bit of poop for a laugh. What? Huh. <laughs> no, huh. no, 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 dude. Ryan, I'm holding you to that because you told me you have one more night of like heavy drinking in you and you'll do it with me. <laughs> so that one night, you're going to be eating a little bit of poop for a law. I can't combine those on the same night because they're both going to be catastrophic for my digestive tract. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I think I got to eat the days, brother. I could eat Ryan, the poop sober. You should do. Like every day, like, like, like in the middle of the stream, if like you notice chat starting to like hit a lull, mm, you okay. pick up a plate of shit and just slowly start like pulling it towards your face. Mm. Going like, uh, 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 chat's like, oh, uh, what's your favorite kind of hamburger? I'm like, oh, okay, thank God. <laughs> will, yeah. today, will today be the day that he actually eats shit? Uh. <laughs> Man, That's a good, good like subathon idea. How often do you think you got to replace that? Do they the poop? Yeah. Does poop I mean, go like, bad? Yeah, right. Now. Does poop go bad? I get like it. It, it, get, it would get worse, bad. right? I do. I think you're right. I think it gets worse. It starts bad. No, I think that this might be insane, but I think it gets better because like it dries out. <laughs> but all the mean? flies and maggots and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, then, don't. Uh, then that's, that applies to any food ever, bro. You, you can put it under a cloche yeah. or something. You don't have but to it leave starts, it just out it in starts no as poop. <laughs> No man's I land. I think poop does get better because it dries out and like, but then it's like I don't want to eat it wet. Oh, then you could like microplane it. <laughs> you can microplane it on top of your spaghetti. Imagine yeah, trying exactly to like, like a truffle. Like Ew, shove a dude. bunch of crackers in your mouth. That's when it would be like eating a big dry log of shit. You know? I yeah, think, but I'd rather I think do that than wet. I'd rather, eat, I'd rather eat crackers than shit though. Mm, yeah, I would Shit. Dude, Dude, yo, so more problems. men these days would rather eat crackers than eat shit. I've... I've forgotten. <laughs> oh no! I'm comically slow at this shit. God damn it. Would it kill oh, you to just be quiet for 90 seconds? It's the only I thing I want to do. Because so with. It, <laughs> Yeah, the one should be top box yeah. in the game, man. All the you just literally, it's the hardest <laughs> challenge in gaming. You just don't have to talk for 90 Shut seconds. Up. Mm. Shut the fuck Shut up! Because when you yeah, miss dude. one, is not the same time that we have downtime. Yeah. Apparently, it's Ed's, a delay. Ed, I, I have gone through that enough that now I'm becoming one of them because I, I had to deal with it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm joining in, bro. You guys like fitness? They're gonna. Boob his ass. Fitting this whole pigeon up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? There's a bird in between this guy's nipples. <laughs> yeah. Bad. He referenced to the other joke. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't expect him to shove a whole bird up his ass. Ooh. Maybe this is Wednesday already? Yeah, man. Wednesday, hold, my dudes. Hold the Adams. Can you believe that? It's W Wednesday. We got to get a W. That's true. It's W Wednesday. Sponsored by Duncan. Everybody got their Dunkachinos ready. Cheers, lads. I got my Biba bits that I saved. Freeze them. My Biba bits? Bieber bits? What are they called? Biba bites? Well, Justin Bieber had a little Duncan moment. Oh, no. Can I, the... the, the can I, put tim my, tim beebs. can I put my can I put my Pokemane cookies in your Tim Beebs? <laughs> yeah, man. Jeez. Wait, that's a fucking sleepover moment, bro. <laughs> some Tim Beebs and some some what are they called? Mean Mina Mina my cookies. What are the Pokemane cookies called? Not I your don't ass. Know, you got cookies? Not your ass showing up to the function with a bag full of gluten-free, healthy cookies. Come on, man. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> Is that what they are? I'm crazy like that. <laughs> so you go to somebody's house, say trick or treat, they hand you a damn banana or something like that. <laughs> now take oh, take only one bananas, man. Only one baby carrot. 
Only one per person. You think the taffy business is ready for all of their customers to not exist anymore? What's that? They're, they're old. They're old. They're yeah, now. people are dying. Oh, come on. Taffy's hip. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Taffy's still cool, man. This dude be like, you ever have a Tootsie Roll fresh off the line? Oh, <laughs> baby. Tootsie Rolls. Me too, but I'm old. Come on. <laughs> Tootsie Rolls are bad. No, no, it's like chocolate bad, gum. They're, they're, they're fine. I'm never going to choose a Tootsie Roll, but if they're around, mm. I'll eat one. <laughs> I gotta like them. Yeah. Oh no. Good luck in the next round. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that was hard. <laughs> I came in 20th. Dude, people are insane with this. I don't know. I fell apart. Oh, I'm out. How am I out in the first round? It's actually like sad. Oh, I love fast foods out. First, I don't get my apartment, and now this did. Oh, it's the worst week I've ever had in my life. Oh, you didn't get it? No, bro, dude. He's like, it was first come, first serve. My bad. Like, I didn't uh, view it and apply <laughs> on the same day. Yeah. <laughs> and then he waited two weeks to tell me it was first come, first serve. Like, what are you doing, bro? Oh, man. I'm going to go back. I'm going to loiter outside of that apartment until they leave, and then I'm going to apply again. Yeah. He's going to be like, how do you know how to apply? It's not even listed yet. I'm going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> cool. Ready, round one. I don't know who I'm up against. Watch. Uh huh. Find it. <laughs> Wait, no. You lose. Round two. Watch. Find it. <laughs> I'm against the flash, man. Have fun in the next round, guys. No. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm down as well. Might just be I'm Justin. Or is Baron too? Oh, I got a, I got knocked out round one, dude. Of course. Yeah, give me this one, you fucking bastard. I was against God? I was against God. I'm like sixth place in the lobby. In, no, I'm like fourth place in the lobby in terms of speed. My ass is eliminated. Make it make sense, bro. Make it make sense. You were very fast. Right? Just, just, I was, yeah, I went up against, I went up against number two. place in the lobby on speed, man. What was your speed? Point four two two. I mean, it wasn't point three one three, but still. Yeah, that's brutal. We got West three quarters of a ahead. second Andy's in there. Am I the only boy still in? By the way, not only did I lose with 0. .422, I lost six to one. <laughs> yeah. It's insanity, man. There's like a literal nine-year-old in this lobby. He's going to beat your ass. <gasps> no, I wasted yeah. it. He did it too so early. early. Yeah. Too the early. hell the no. dude who beat me in the faster than sound got eliminated? No, his mom probably finished making the mini pizzas. <laughs> Ooh. get a drink? Don't move, my beak, it's old, 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 don't move
Ah! Man, Man. fuck Ooh, all of that. <laughs> Dude, I glazed, I glazed over halfway through you going through that. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, I had an after party the other night last 12 and a half minutes, and I lost. Holy cow. 12 and a half 12 minutes? And a half minutes? <laughs> nope, that one doesn't make things out. Bro, that's, that's not worth it. <laughs> Hey, hear me out. What if we don't play against any of those people this round? Oh, they'll all be here again. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, but what if they... Every single round was a fight to the death. You know how, like, when we used to play, it was, like, guaranteed you'd qualify for the first two rounds at a minimum? Yeah, that's over, huh? We were fighting Only for our lives in round one. Only in this setting. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, I'm, sorry, oh, yeah, I'm, fuck, I'm, man, fucked. Man. I'm I'm on 30 <laughs> MS latency correction, man. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm funny, lost from frame weird. one. I don't. I don't think. They... <laughs> put me against Chip. Put me against Chip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, man. No, no, fuck it. I do it. I still got some neurons left. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> me. It's I'm Joe. In the cow Oh, thank God he's a child. Oh, what the hell? No way. Ain't no way. What the hell? I'm cursing your family. <sighs> Got beat by a fucking hundredth of a second. How's everyone doing? I haven't We're, gotten I haven't gotten higher than like a point two five. I think <laughs> me, me and my other guy are in the point threes. Where like he's beating me by hundreds of a second every round. I got this is this is uh, this person's terrible. So it's very easy. I think you're against me. Corey, that's me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my opponent is left game. <laughs> Fuck you. You guys are gonna make me lose. Oh, they know. don't know how to shut up, Apollo! Fuck you, Corey. Sorry, Joe. Sorry. Maybe next time. It's terrible, so it's okay. Good job, Ryan. Good, good job. Like you are. Are you on? To my average time, please. Thank you. Are oh, you on a? Cow. That's crazy, Justin. Are I'm you on like? Oh, is it like actually a thirty like point three millisecond delay? Because if. I think something is broken in my computer because I use a, a virtual audio mixer and I think that adds like seven seconds delay or something bullshit because there's no way my reaction time is 0.7, bro. Think about how good we're going to be at this game when we finish another hour of these lobbies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all like time chain, yeah. <laughs> Headbangers, dude. You're going to be at Thanksgiving. Your nephew's going to be like, check out this cool game on Game Pass. Bang bong, bang bong, bang bong, bang bong. <laughs> Rip you, <laughs> idiot. Sweat dripping yeah. down your forehead. <laughs> I love bing bong, bing bong. <laughs> I have my nephew come over. Hey, you want to play this new game? I have him crying by like 20 minutes. Your nephew failing to swipe the card in admin properly and getting unfairly marinated. POV, you are the imposter. I mean, I, I made a joke already, but if your you want to Your nephew crying because you ejected him out of the airlock even though he was the sheriff? Can you interact with me a single time without Dang. mentioning Among Us? Well, it's Wednesday. <laughs> I can. The first rounds are hard in these lobbies, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Almost made it. Dude. Yeah, yep. I'm still alive. What do you say? Fuck me for? What do you say? Fuck me for? Stevo to Bam Majera. <laughs> what do you say? Fuck me for, dude. I don't know. Great impression. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. It's so oh, oh, Super Striker. Oh, man. Wait, what the fuck? Super Striker? 
Yeah. All the rare games. You have to hit on the fifth note. I've, I've <laughs> never yeah. played this. There's no way, man. It's not. <laughs> Are you losing at the Steve <laughs> impression still? I'm still losing it, but there's no way that Corey's never played this, man. Dude. I don't think I've ever played this one. Well. There's no, no, no shot. It's possible. This this game is super rare. I, this is the third time I've ever played it. That's nuts to me. Bro, the stream snipers who no used to crush stuff. me are coming in 11th in the lobby. Like this is a new fucking era here. This is yeah. this is Infinity War. I do love the stream stream sniper mentality of uh, oh my streamers playing my favorite game. Let's make them never play it again. <laughs> you're crazy. I'm going to the world championships, bro. Oh, you're never gonna play this game again, dude. I know how you. Are. <laughs> <laughs> He's bringing out the poop plate during the segment. <laughs> <laughs> I could do this. I could do this one. Dude, just Tootsie Rolls. Just put a bunch of Tootsie uh, Rolls on a plate. You microwave them, maybe? And then, like, <laughs> cocoa powder on top? Oh my god, man. Is that what your poop looks like? That would like? be nice. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't look. <laughs> what? It's not my business, dude. It's for the people down at the plumbing <laughs> station. <laughs> Me on a double shift at the shit examination booth. Nice. Nice. I like the little background birds that say it. I like their little whistle. Oh yeah. I feel like shit. I'm gonna lose. Don't like, say I feel that. Like, I feel like ill. You got this. I'm making excuses. <laughs> <laughs> What's that cello doing, man? I guess you lost. Yeah, yeah. They, just, they, they, they pulled the damn off. plug, <laughs> man. The shit out of me. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't know this was a horror game. I got jump scares. Collaborating, <laughs> no, collaborating. Maybe, maybe we'll gonna lose. lose. Hey, we got six people here, so we can't all be in the final. But mm. it'll be cool if we get five of us. Yeah. Cool. My my latency went from thirty to forty. Like I, I it's all fucked I up. Just, over I just here. I have to mind a thirty as well. So. Maybe I should just put it on zero. Yeah, try it. Training wheels off. There you go. Then you just adapt. Dude, that's how I used to have to play Halo is we'd have to lead our shots because we had to account for the lag. Yup. Halo 2 with the broken controller. Because you're the younger brother. Did you ever get that? I did. No joystick on my controller. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> no <laughs> joystick. <laughs> it was just a knob. Like, it was a Q-tip like, that they cut and What the fuck? On. Bro, I'm just laughing at Chibli's boomer ass bit. Like, when I was a kid, my controller didn't even have an analog stick. It was just a <laughs> damn Q tip. Dude, it was real. It was real. Relatable moment. I had to plug a fucking thimble into the empty socket. No. Oh, it wasn't man. even a genuine controller either. It was like a knockoff one. So it was like I was already at a debuff. Dude, I had I had a Nintendo 64 controller that was twice as thick oh, as the dude, regular one. Oh my god, that's like quadruple so stuff. Dude, it was so <laughs> chunky. Dude, you got the steel get? billet controller. No. Uh -oh. I lost because I died. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh fuck! I almost lost because I'm stupid. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you guys were still going. I was out. I'm bad at that. I'm out. You're out? 
They don't. They don't shut up, Apollo. They don't shut up. Every apparently you have to announce when you get eliminated every time, even when the sounds are going on. We're not all operating with a with a twenty seven year old brain here, man. I'm I, I got limited amount of bandwidth. I got to apply very sparingly. Thanks, man. I'm out because I. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's what you all deserve. I you I didn't I'm do in. anything. I didn't do I'm anything. In. I made it. Y'all asses were talking Let's all the first fucking round, and all of a sudden you're gonna turn first, it on to some you, fucking the tangent. First right round now. is when you get the sounds. That's when you come up with your mnemonic. All right. Listen, I apologize. I didn't know that the game was still going. I thought I was. Why I thought, did you think that it just ended? Because I thought it ended. It said finished. It was it round. Just, that, was, that was you were talking about. You. Yeah. yeah. It's only the second time I played that one. The hell, this guy's got 17 hours in the game. He's never played any of the mini games. Make it make sense. I don't have 17. I, I've only played with you guys. Cool you kept guy, saying Justin cool when guy. I played with you. This is the exact order yeah. we got. Yeah, we played for like two hours that one time. Yeah, you better deafen or something. <laughs> Stab him. I'm ruined on this mini game anyway, dude. It's fine. You guys can keep arguing. Don't let me stop you. Yeah, but now you can fly, though. Bro, you're up against I'm Joe. Yeah, can I just back out? No, 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 you no, got him. He's ass. washed. He's beat washed. Beat his ass. He's washed. Ready. This was your dream. This was your dream. Y'all, I didn't get 100% on the first one. How'd that happen? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I've got Hidden Singer on myself. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's really oh, hard. Oh no, I'm not, he gave up on himself. I'm out of here. <laughs> I lagged. I lagged out. My game crashed. I'm putting this latency shit on zero. I'm fucking. Why not, man? Oh, dude, that got me good. Ryan, hit the Sevo impression. Bro, it fucking kills. Like that one? Oh, wow, that was also really bad. It fucking kills, bro. No. Dude, what? <laughs> skin to Overwatch for D.Va? Nerf this. <laughs> Fuck you. Big thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring our time here today in Headbangers. That seems pretty good. Oh, is this, wait, this is wait. kind of fucked up, no? No, he, no, that's fine. He approves. Is it mean? Is this mean? I no, know. he's on a like TV that. show where he like drank a funnel of diarrhea and like <laughs> put a mousetrap snap on the tip of his penis uh, while like an alligator true. bit him on the leg. Like, I think he can handle it. I think he can handle it, honestly. I think he got wow. <laughs> like that. <you> know? <laughs> the pressure's fucking sweet, dude. Here we are. You look great, Chibli. I'm trying to like hear his laugh in my head. No. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and that's that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I highly yeah, doubt he'll see this. Pain. You don't think Steve O's <laughs> gonna tune in for the last hour of Headbangers here on a Wednesday? It could happen. It could happen. He does. He does. Oh, but his name auto completed in my chat. What the fuck? I typed Steve and it. Go, I pressed tab and it went Steve O. Oh god, I was that's saying you're not no. streaming. Steve, I'm, I'm just streaming. Going, oh my god, oh, add German ninety five really in do. chat. Dun, 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 dun. I actually fucked it up. Thank God. Wait, so you they added wondered, new they added new stuff, finale. didn't they? I feel like yeah, I haven't seen new a stuff. Of I've never seen that one. I dude, they did jingle bells, man. I ain't even seen jingle bells before. Mm -hmm. I ain't never seen no jingle bells. <clears throat> Tis the season. The street one jingle bell. Guy who's hearing jingle bells for the first time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. <laughs> Let me pull up. Can you play play that one? <laughs> play that one back. Play that one back. How are those first we few bites agree. treating you? Hey, one sec, can I ask you something, waitress? What song is this? 
With the big top hat and the button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Is, it, is this new? What's this called? <laughs> uh, Can you glass. spell that? Frosty the Snowman. The funny thing is, What's I didn't even called? realize that was Frosty the Snowman. I had no idea. <laughs> Lamb Cheap spring. spring toilet honk. Lamb spring yeah. toilet honk. New Zealand Lamb town names be like toilet honk. Lamb spring <laughs> toilet, toilet honk. Lamb spring toilet honk. God. All right. See you, Joe. Later, Joe. Someone is macroing, man. Someone was in before you could even That's select. That's a power up. I swear. It's, a, it's a power up. Yeah. Oh, it solves brother, automatically this game just you. hands wins to people, man. They're <laughs> not even playing the goddamn game. Hey, they're shameless the these days. I'm going to keep it a buck fifty with you. If you've ever gotten a power up in this game, you're a snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a snake, dude. Dude, that's uh, Steve O's like in the call when he's like spinning the slots. So he's just there. And he's like, yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> that's uh. There's some. Uh, I'm actually not going to play so I get the perfect. There's some. Oh. Hey. I fumbled on that one, but I still got third, I think. Oh, Y'all. Oh, oh the best lobby! We got it! Oh, we got it! <laughs> Look at us! Oh. Holy shit, wait, this is huge! Wow, not yeah, you, we're, Corey, we're so, not you! We're so good, we're so good. <laughs> we're, so, we're so good. Wait, this is so cute! <laughs> oh, give me, I literally, it's a free win if I get fucking that 70s, dude. Come on. What the fuck? No. We're right here! <laughs> I'm so good at that one, and you guys all suck for some reason. I don't know why. I'm holding my controller in ways that have never been held. Oh, it's octopus one! Oh no! How they're an octopus. Good one, good one. Good, good, good game, good game. Good game, good game. Good game, good game, good game. No! Good game, good game, good game. Good game, good game. Good game, good game. 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 I pressed Y instead of A. <laughs> nah, that's almost crazy. Uh, oh, when you said you were holding your controller in ways that have never been held before, I was a little bit concerned. <laughs> now I'm thinking back on it, I'm like, yeah, no wonder I've never held it like that because I don't need to ever. Yeah. It's only two buttons. Dude, that smoke cloud attack absolutely fucked me. The kind of shit you've been working with you, your man. whole life? Holy right. cow! Pew 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 pew! I have to tie? I was as fast dude. as I could have possibly done. Oh, Apollo, I, I didn't know how he did it. That was the fastest thing I've ever seen in my life. The whole chat was like, this guy's definitely cheating. This is aimbot. Then you missed one and they were like, he's washed! He's old! It's over! <laughs> How'd you miss two and get a score of 68? Because uh, he was putting them in like in point zero 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 one seconds. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Are you on controller, Apollo? Yeah. Oh, shit. He, he plays Valorant. Uh, this one again, huh? Hey, those are their apartments. This one's super rare. I'm laughing the first time yeah, he got it. He said, I've never seen this before. <laughs> Second time it pops up, he goes, this one again, huh? <laughs> 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 There's no please in this guy. I'm not complaining. <laughs> what the hell is shows the entire route? Well, you can't see. 
Come on. That 70s, please. After party. No. Oh. I'm bad at this one, dude. I'm clearing my fucking brain. <laughs> I'm degaussing. <laughs> I, I, have, I don't, there's just, there is a point, it's like destined, it has to happen where within the bounds of the game, I will just hit the wrong one and it'll just happen. And it's way before Justin will, because I rarely ever make it to the, the final speed. It's usually a fucking turn too, man. He goes, and I hit jump. <laughs> Justin, your neck broke. <laughs> you got like a thousand peaks a second. What are the other buttons? <laughs> oh, oh, good game, my good game. <laughs> that was like a fucking fever dream. Oh my god. Dude, I, I did reach a point like a minute before I died where I was like, how am I doing this? Yeah. <laughs> you start thinking about it too much? No, I think like I brought it back and then I just made a mistake later. I was like, man, I'm, I'm proud of myself. That was a hell of a room. My ass is in my head. Degaussing worked. Oh, my, my, did your vision go like a little white for a second? <laughs> for a moment, I realized I wasn't breathing. Yes, I think that's what happened to me. <laughs> I didn't breathe for a while, and then I was like, I gotta breathe. Sorry, the bonus game took a moment, but it's oh, over. No problem. Oh, good games, gentlemen. I think we put the stream snipers in their place. Yeah. Oh, GG's, GG's. 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 It's a damn pleasure. Yeah. Later. You guys have a wonderful day, and we'll yeah. see you on Friday for Jackbox, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <clears throat> Corey's mom, when she sees a coupon for Costco, yes, 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 yes. It's not a joke. She just loves the deal. Love to hear that. You know what I was doing before the We Votra Majesté? I put my shoulders up really tight, and then I, like, vibrated really fast, like... Because I was thinking... I'll get all the heat out of the cells to warm up the, the neurons so that they can fire a little bit faster. And honestly, I feel like it kind of worked. I'm going to start doing that before I hop on the Peloton in the morning. I won't need a warm up anymore. That's a new tech. I mean, second place, man. It speaks for itself. Now I can't stop doing it. <laughs> Motherfuckers really be like, oh, I'm not addicted to anything. Yeah, try going without ATP for 60 seconds. Plus two for the ATP joint. Honestly, I'm not like you guys. I think I could probably go without ATP for 24 hours. Do not try this at home. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you guys. Anyone who can't go anaerobic for a full day straight is a snake. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Later! Ryan thinks he's hot all the time. It's getting on me nerves. Wait, it's the same guy who got banned in Ryan's chat! Dude, stop it! I cannot not read your comment, okay? It's killing me. <laughs> I like... I feel... I feel like more men finds Ryan attractive than more... 
women. But then I guess most of his viewers are male. I think he appeals to male more so than female is all I'm saying. He's not bad looking. That is, that gotta be, you mean, I think you, you typo. You typo, he's not bald. He's not hot. Dude, stop it. I told you, stop it. We have enough. We have enough joker in our chat. I'm sorry. Our seat is full. If Cree wasn't here, you could take Cree's seat, but Cree is here. If Watanabe was not here, then you can take Watanabe's seat. We already got two joker and maximum there's only two. Do you do you know why? Because Sith, there's only two, and that's the way it goes. Jedi's, there are many Jedi's. Sith, only two. Thus, the two seats, and two seats are taken. Have you seen Anna's clip about kissing girls? What the fuck? What the, what the hell is such a joker? Out of nowhere, not, no context, whatever, just coming out with like, Hey, have you seen your husband kissing girls? Well, obviously, Link it. I've also never kissed a girl and liked it. I've kissed a girl before, but I did not inhale. What does that mean? I've also never kissed a girl and liked it. I've kissed a girl before, but I did not inhale. What is inhale? What? What? <laughs> Am I miss missing a context? Oh, I get it. He's a Kirby. <laughs> oh, I get it. He's a Kirby. That's so good. <clears throat> Library is always horny, dude. I could not go to his Twitch page. His Twitch page is just like anime VTuber. It's like all oh, memes looking anime boobs. Oh, my waifu Fauna, I love you. Fauna, go. Oh, Fauna merch dropped, Pog. Take my wallet. Fauna hoodie, Fauna hat, Fauna backpack, Fauna t shirt, Fauna sweatpants, Fauna socks. <laughs> If I ever walk down the street and if I see a dude, Asian dude, just covered it with Fauna merch, I'll be like, oh, that's library. Yep. I was thinking it would be funny to invite Origin over and have like a co-op stream. But then I was thinking about, um, what if instead of Origin, it would be library. And I was like, no chance, no chance in my life. I will invite library over. <laughs> What is it fucking for? What did I do? I'm normal. Oh my gosh. Did you actually type that? I think he got hacked. Chad, I think he got hacked. I'm normal. No normal person ever goes on internet typing I'm normal. <laughs> normal people be saying I'm normal smiley face all the time. Oh... He did, he did eat four subways, right? It was four in one sitting and it wasn't even for coupon. He didn't even have the coupon to, to get the four free subs. He just went there and got it. It was six. Don't lie to me. It was three. It was three ghost mob. Come on, you double up. That's too much. It was actually eight. Stop it. Stop it. This is how things happen, man. It was actually three, then it was six, and then now it's eight, and now it could have been 17. Okay, 17, come on. Ain't no way anyone will actually believe. 17? The sandwiches are multiplying in his... Yeah, the sandwiches that he ate makes baby sandwiches in his stomach. The, the baby sandwich made babies... And then babies and babies and babies and now it became like 17 subs. Kua, Kua has only typed, hi, hi everyone. How's everyone doing? And then into confused cat face. Next one, confused cat face. Next one, confused cat face. <laughs> it, was a, it, was a, it was a, hi everybody. Good day, right? And then it was just... It was like, what's going on here, dude? 
It's all it's all Librarian's fault, honestly. Everything, every conversation was going so swell until Librarian comes in with like, "Hey, have you every guy, every every guy, have you guys seen the gayish clips?" I'm like, huh? And then into um, I ate three subs. I didn't bring that up. Yeah, but then you did post it on Twitter. You went, hmm, that wasn't that bad. Or something like that. It was the same reaction when you took a bite out of the raw onion and you went, it's not that bad. Which one was worse? Which one was worse? The three, three subs in one sitting or the raw onion? Onion is fine. I knew it. I knew he would say that. I eat onion when I get pizza. Wait, what do you mean you eat onion when you get pizza? Is it like you put onion as a topping? Because I saw that Korean streamer do it. You ever seen that clip? This guy coming in going like, have you seen that clip? Have you seen that clip? No, I have not seen the clip of Korean streamer eating a pizza with a raw onion. Who eats... A pizza? What the fuck is going on, dude? He's... Dude, you, you're just like running the whole stream, my dude. You're running the whole stream. Well, now I have to watch it. Everyone's like, okay, well, everyone gotta watch it. Okay, all right, all right, let's watch it. Okay, let's see. Spicy chicken... Spicy chicken pizza. What the hell? He just mm. took that whole thing? No, don't rip out a freaking onion, mm. dude. I'm so scared. No. No! No! What? Ah! <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? He had the onion off the... He had the onion out of the screen? Wait, why does he have a chopstick for? What's the chopstick for? He's eating the pizza with the chopstick? Let's go, baby. What is that chopstick for? What the hell? Why does it have a raw onion all peeled and ready to go? For the lasagna? You cannot eat lasagna with the chopsticks. Don't even lie to me. Mr. <laughs> <the> throat go. <laughs> I should call him. This, if this is why library sees, it's not wonder he's so fucked up. <laughs> oh my god he had the onion ready to go like did the onion come with the pizza can you order a peeled raw onion on the side of a, a whole pizza and a lasagna like what the hell's going on Kate, I'm done with my villain arc. Can you kindly send my white flags to Ryan? I request a proper reintegration into his channel. Oh no, dude. I don't know what you said, dude. I don't know what you said. I cannot do that. That's uh, that's out of my... That's out of my domain. <laughs> I looked at your logs. No. Oh no. Dude, it's crazy how Watanabe got VIP. And didn't even get banned in Ryan's chat. And he's a villain in my chat. I just don't understand, like, how twisted you have to get. Ryan just VIPs anyone? That's not true. <laughs> I'm normal there? You just say you're normal here! What do you mean, I'm normal there? You're normal here, you're normal there, but you're definitely not normal? This guy is crazy and he goes like, hey, hey guys, hey, hey, have you seen the clip? Have you seen the clip, guys? Brings in the most fucked up clips. Hey, I'm normal, I'm normal, that's not me. I'm normal everywhere. Except in my own apartment when I got naked anime figurines. And my coworker comes into my apartment, where do I hide my naked figurines, dude? I don't know. Not naked? I mean, okay, not naked, but maybe 99% naked. <laughs> mostly naked, okay, mostly naked. They're in the process of getting naked. <laughs> it's not that bad. 
Well, I think we'll be the one who can give the judgment. Yeah, they're not naked. They have a single hand towel. Need VIP to post links in NL's chat? Oh, is that what he's doing? Hey, NL, have you seen that clip? Have you seen that clip? And then Ryan goes like, oh, what is it? Okay, let me just VIP you quick so I can see the clips. You, you clip baiting? <laughs> you, you fishing Ryan with the clips? Oh, I see. My girlfriend bought me an anime figurine. And I'm too embarrassed to put it on my shelf. If your girlfriend bought it, it can't be that bad. Or it could be real bad. No way. <laughs> my chin. <laughs> my chin. It's just slander. Quote, girlfriend. End of quote. Oh, man. Guys, oh my gosh, I have such a huge problem. My super hot out of league girlfriend got me $3,000 figurine. I don't know what to do with it. Definitely it was not me who bought it. It was my girlfriend. I don't even watch the anime. Like, it just like came out. It's definitely not me. Oh my god, I told you. Also, Spice and Wolf. Such a boomer pick. Good anime though. Demo's normal figurine. Yeah, I see, I told you. Can't get more normal than that. Man, even Watanabe says it. That's kind of scary. Ryan and I, we're kind of opposite. You know how um sometimes when you get a call and you answer the phone? Ryan told me the story when I think he said he was 14. So he's still a kid, right? But then he hit puberty real quick, real hard. So his voice right now is exactly the same when he was 14. So when he said he answered a phone, like home telephone, and then um, he said like, hello. And then they said, they thought, the person on the call thought Ryan was the owner of the house. And then they talked about, I don't know, like property tax or something on the phone. And then Ryan had to, like, Ryan couldn't say, like, I'm just 14, you know? Like, I don't know anything about this. He just kind of pretended that he was the, like, he was his father, basically. But then for me, it's the opposite. Sometimes when I go to my parents' house, and then I got a call, and I have to answer my mom's home phone. And then I go, like, hello? And then they always go, oh, is there any adults in the house that you can transfer the call to? And I'm like, bro, bro, dude, I'm a kid. <laughs> but you enjoy it now, right? No, it's awkward. Because like when I talk to someone new, my pitch goes a little higher. I go like, hello. Like I, my pitch doesn't go like, hello. I go, hello. Like, my, my pitch kind of goes up whenever I'm a little nervous. And whenever I talk to anyone new, it's a little, little high, right? And I go like, hello. And they go like, oh, is there anyone in the adults so that I can talk to? I'm like, oh, no, sorry. And then, um, oh, man, I cannot believe I did not share these tales with you guys. So I was cleaning the leaves. Right? And then you know how Ryan always tells the stories of like, oh, you know, I was cleaning leaves this weekend. You know, there was this neighbor came by talking about mushroom and talking about, I don't know, like miniature trains or whatever. When I was cleaning the leaves, um, two people went by and I said, hi, good morning. And then both of them iced me, dude. They did not even recognize me. I was like as if I was like a like a particle of air. And I, I was like, oh, oh, okay. And then there was a person. He was a jogger. Like he wasn't running or anything. Like he was like walking a little fast. And I was cleaning the leaf and I was ready to say hi. Then he crosses the street to avoid me to be on the... Like he was literally walking on the road to avoid me. 
And I was like, what the fuck? Like, why, why am I a human repellent? What did I do? All I'm doing is I'm just sweeping the leaves and all these MFers, they're like walking on the freaking goddamn road just to not say hi to me. I just want to say hi. No neighbor so far ever since we moved has said hi to me. How are you doing? Etc. Etc. People just like effing don't want to say hi to me, dude. I was like, what the fuck? And then as soon as Ryan stepped outside, I was like, okay, I'm done sweeping the leaves. Cause you know I've been doing it for like an hour and a half or two. I'm tired. My arms are all achy. So I went back in as soon like, and then Ryan went outside literally a second later, right? And he was like, okay, I'll do the rest. He goes outside. Human storms like like bees like bring and then like two old men came out of nowhere and just like oh how are you guys uh how are you doing and i'm having a little chit chat and i'm like what the fuck what the fuck dude like like what the hell i <laughs> i wanted to make a tweet but then you know i i felt like instead of you know people taking it lightly lightly people might take it too seriously and then they're like whoa your neighbors are a fucking racist. So I'm just like, I don't know. They're, they might be a little racist. I'm not going to lie. I do get that feeling of like, oh my gosh, she's Asian. She definitely cannot speak English. You know what I mean? So it's like, I get that little feeling of like racism, but I, you know, I give a little room of doubt. I was like, oh, white dude, 100% he can speak English. I can say hi to him. You know what I'm saying? But Asian person, I don't know, 50-50. They might say, they might say hi. They might not even be able to say hi. You should wear a teacher. This says I speak English. Are you kidding me? No person will even talk to me ever again. And you are telling me you're normal? This is not helping. Men <laughs> who has never been outside in their life. <laughs> oh, Tell Raya to say 안녕. 안녕하세요. And then one time we were outside together, right? I was picking up the leaves and he was sweeping the leaves. And then um, a person went by. We both, Ryan and I, we both said, oh, hi, hello. And then that person only acknowledged Ryan and said, oh, hi. And I'm like, and I said to Ryan, I'm like, yo, that dude just eyes me. And then Ryan said, yeah, he did. That's weird. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I am I am such a foreigner in our neighborhood, dude. It's so weird. It's it's not like our neighborhood is dominantly white people or anything. We got a lot of Asian people here. So that's why I'm so confused. Like, there's Asian people everywhere in our neighborhood, and yet they don't even say hi to me. <laughs> Ryan's presence is simply too overpowering. And then I was, um, I was telling Ryan how, you know, I don't feel, you know, like included in our neighborhood. And then Ryan said, oh, it's because you're so pretty. They get too nervous to talk to a pretty girl, but I'm so mid, you know, they don't feel nervous to talk to a mid guy. And I was like, thank you, Ryan. That's that he's doing the husband's job, dude. <laughs> the, <laughs> the best husband dialogue of all time. So true. We're so good neighbors only talk to him. I mean it's so funny because he I sh maybe maybe because all of his like um winter wear is all Canadian, you know what I mean? Like he got the Canadian jacket. It's the jacket with the beaver and says Canada. And then he got the the winter hat that has the maple leaf and says Canada. Like all of his winter wear screams Canada and it is printed Canada. I think that's what I need to wear. You know what I mean? I just gotta wear my Team Canada winter coats. Team Canada <laughs> gloves. Yeah, I just gotta, like, wear maple leaf. But I feel like when Ryan wears 
outfits that says Canada, Canada, Canada. They go like, yeah, he is Canadian. That's my guy. But then when I wear Canada drip, they go like, whoa, she must really like Canada. Where is she from? You know what I mean? Same, word up, word up. same clothing, different vibe. Number one Canada fans. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's okay. And then, oh my gosh, Origin, I forgot to tell you this yesterday. You know how I ordered four bubble tea yesterday? Um, and then as soon as the uh, DoorDash guy delivered it to me, I went down to get, get it. No joke. There was an a, a old white man staring at our door. Like he was freaking out that somebody got four bubble teas. And I was a little freaked out because he was staring at... Like when I opened the front door, he was staring at the bubble tea. And then I was like, whoa. And I closed the door and I got a little creeped out. And I told Ryan, like, there was an old white man who freaked out because I got four, four bubble teas. He was jealous? No, he was like, no human should drink four bubble teas in one day. I think he's right. Oh my god, that's the guy! Dude, ATP old? That's the Muppet that Ryan really likes. Have you used that emote to Ryan's chat? I'm not even joking. There's the other guy. The other guy is more bald. Right? The other guy is completely bald and that... Where's the other guy? Do you have the other guy too? Do you only have that guy? You only have that guy? You gotta add the other guy. The other guy is more bald. But then the bald guy... Bald guy is kind of funny, but then that guy is more funny in Muppet. He goes... He goes... Um... I... Cause... Cause we watched the Muppet movie. And then there's two old dudes. And then in the, in the movie, it goes like... Go kill yourself Muppets or something like that. And those two old Muppets came out and then said, Well, the reviews came out early. <laughs> oh yeah, the die Muppets, die Muppets. Okay, it was die Muppets. And then those two uh, old Muppets said, Oh, the reviews came out early. But you gotta use that emote on Ryan's chat tomorrow and please let me know how it goes. I'm pretty sure Ryan's gonna go pog. I will remember. That's your homework. Make sure, make sure to drop it. Make sure to highlight it. You know what I mean. And then, oh, and okay, drop, drop those three, and then type die Muppets. Let's have a practice. Three of the old men, and then type die Muppets. And Ryan will see it, and he's gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> why we have to you know, yeah there you go okay but then no caps no caps you see i thought i thought you might cap no cap no cap no cap makes it funnier all cap makes it less funnier we're, we're practicing <laughs> there you go there you go that's it that's it that's perfect that's perfect i didn't know someone would actually I don't know, uh, know that Muppets, the old Muppets, I don't even know their names, they're just old, old human. Gotta catch a hunker, a grouper, or a tuna, gotta catch a hunker, a haddock, or a cod, gotta catch a hunker, albacore, what the hell, man? How did I get nothing from the sea? Now we gotta switch it up slightly. Don't remember how does the tune go during this part? <laughs> oh, Jesus.